Hello everyone, here and with another LEGO Star Wars review for Throwback Thursday. Well, first one in kind of a while, but I do have plenty more coming up, so expect some pretty soon, but yeah. Or every other Throwback Thursday for a while, but yeah. So, good to be back in a, v in a vibe to it or whatever. So, in today's of which we have the uh, Clone Trooper Battle Pack and Mandalorian Battle Pack from 2011, or 2011, of course. So, on the front of the manual entry, which I have for the Mandalorian Battle Pack, I have a picture of the, of the set in action, and also Lego Star Wars logos, and the blue Captain Rex, Phase 1 Captain Rex border from the time, and also set number 7914. And on the back, I have for the online survey, Evil Wing Kid. And then I have for the Lego Club and all the pieces that come with the set, of course. And then the last building steps. So first off, are all the mini things included in this. First up we have a clone ARF trooper, a 90, 91st mobile of which of course with a helmet piece of which that stayed exclusive to it for well for the time but also in the other clone battle pack the following year of course but however the torso printing quite like other clone troopers but still looks good but however printing for the helmet of which looks good for that and also this lining on the side and interesting symbol on there kind of cool but quite cool and for that of course and then in the center we have a you know, phase one clone trooper but horn company kind of one so which is why there's the sand green markings on the helmet and uh torso leg printings of course but however the rest of which Quite like the other uh, Phase One clone troopers from the time, but also, but however, the uh, printing kind of similar to the Arf Trooper here, but with the Sam Green printing to it. But however, still looks good for the time, well, and also today as well. And then last of which is what you're looking at one. But you also get. The next to which is what you're looking at one, but you do get two of the uh, bomb squad troopers. So, and of course, all of these of which are all exclusive to just this one battle pack set. And of course, so and kind of odd how they never came in any other sets, but whatever. But anyways, back onto bomb squad trooper is. We do have the clone trooper helmet piece but in orange nice to see there even though recently we did have a uh, clone captain fox in the phase two one in red so kind of interesting seeing that here but yeah and the torso printing just about like the other uh printings of the troopers but with some orange markings on like we also saw see with the 212th troopers and so of course then and then lastly is what you're looking at one, but also matching with the four Mandalorians of the Mandalorian Battle Pack, as you can see. From first glance, looks almost like that of Jango Fett, but and but of course this which from the later seasons of of the Clone Wars, where most Mandalorians looked like this had this color scheme, but yeah. But although. And however, the torso printing and helmet piece kind of the same as previous Mandalorians. And of course, still have both, both of which have do have the accessory helmet holes as that they've had for a long time, and re and very recently have been coming back on again. But yeah, but and also as for the helmet or face prints of which. Which for both of them, as the, the traditional uh, angry clone face for all the clone troopers from the time had, and also the traditional Mandalorian uh, face print, which 
And of course, this, and also forgot to say that these Mandalorian loyalists did also come in the pre Vizsla's uh, Mandalorian Starfire the following year, so didn't stay very exclusive, but yeah. But, uh, and on to the back printings, which all the clone trooper figs all the same, but of course, different printings to them fit in different colorings. Like one with the sand green and this and bomb squad one with the orange printings to it. And of course, and yet again, all of these were all exclusive to these battle pack. Well, the clone trooper battle pack, all of which exclusive to that. So, kind of interesting how that is, but yeah. And that's about it there. And now on to the one speeder bike that came with the Clone Trooper Battle Pack. And it was kind of an interesting, unique build for a speeder bike. But of course, or at least, or rather, Bark Speeder for that. And also, but whereas since this, which was in 2011, this that the whole build of this was also used in the uh, Balagenosis set at the same time, but with different coloring for, it, for that, but whatever. So like, as for the front part of which, which has a like little hinge kind of piece on it, and also a couple of ski pieces or snowshoe pieces there acting as extra fins, but, and if notice, one plate is more yellowed than this plate. Well, since I got it used off Bricklink, it I, it just came like that. But of course, you can and uh, treat it or re restore it or whatever. But yeah. But and then going up have kind of have so it's white with green traditional green kind of sandwiched in. But the one that came in the Genosis set or Balagenosis set the same year. Had probably red in it, so kind of interesting how that is. But how? But else do you get a couple jumpers holding a curved slope on it there, and also a pair of handlebars that are made of battle droid arms. And of course, and like most other uh, bark speeders, do have the four studs on there to sit your clone trooper into like so and have a uh, connect to the taps as the tap pieces as the the or for the uh, handlebars yeah and then moving on down to have a little bit of snock going on with the, a couple of pin bricks with these uh, axle rod bricks to them but also with those uh, pieces acting as venting and some more of those uh, snowshoe kind of pieces and then clips holding being uh, harpoons on it re probably representing as other blasters on top of them of course and then the back side you have plenty of green going down and also with a curved and jagged slope going down there as well and also do get inverted jagged slopes underneath there so resting all on one large plate so Kind of so at least a little minimalistic like most battle pack builds tend to do. And yeah. And of course this was a nice build to have multiples of even while army building, of course, but yeah. And that was about it with that. And now on to the builds that come with the Mandalorian battle pack. Oh, also forgot to mention is one of which do you do get this little artillery build or this little turret like build for your Mandalorians, of course. And have them shoot out with it like so. And of course, almost like we had with the uh, uh, Water Trooper in 2021 and with his little launcher, of course, but yeah. Now onto one of the builds, which is the little uh, speeder here. And so now you're wondering, is where's the other fin piece? There. Well, kind of moved it around and it fell off, and 
So kind of lost, but whatever. So otherwise, the rest of which perfect symmetry. Same with the bark speeder that I just showed. Right. We wish you have a little bark piece underneath with a technic pin underneath, representing a front blaster part, and also do have this little car side piece. Yes, down words of course. Yes, and then we do have and then have a set of handlebars kind of up there and also a few or four slopes as, or studs as well so you can fit a Mandalorian mini they gone to and and ride around on it of course and and take enough room for the uh, uh, jet pack behind there. Nice to see there. And also you get a, a curved slope right there. And underneath the which do have a, a a clear round brick to make it look like it's hovering, of course. Which we did also see on the 2020 uh, battle Mandalorian battle pack, of course. So of course, quite, quite simple build for that. And now onto the other part of which, which is a little turret, which you see, just resting on two hexagonal kind of plates there, and of course have a snot-like bracket holding a plate and a uh, wedge kind of plate there, and on the sides you have a couple of jagged slopes there, and. And also you got this little bench kind of piece sticking off the kind of randomly. But how are the rest of it? But however, still got a few studs I wish to also sit a Mandalorian onto as well. But, hang on. But then it goes on to this large turret, which has just a couple of technic pieces, has a technic piece and a cylinder piece on there, and a red stud representing a, a knife on, a aiming part on it. But of course, all get the brown feels with the uh, car rim piece. So, kind of well done use of pieces here, of course. And hey, got two builds in a single battle pack, which, which we did also see in the 2020 Mandalorian battle pack, and also the, uh, what was it, oh, 2007 uh, clone battle pack as well, so, and also the 2022 uh, uh, Snow Trooper battle pack as well. So kind of interesting seeing that here, but yeah. Now on to the final verse. So for my overall verdict is I think these which are quite good sets and also quite good battle packs are how they are since since they both have the army building factor which a battle pack should have and of course well, for the Clone Trooper Battle Pack, it does have the usual uh, bark speeder like you'd expect for some battle packs so, or some clone sets. But it, however, having that it here, always nice, oh, it's good to have for a cheap price, and those, of course, ones that you like having multiples of, like having that, and also army building. And of course, Kind of interesting seeing so, a whole bunch of exclusive figs exclusive to a battle pack, which did carry on to the following years, of course, or two following years as well. But although we haven't seen those in quite so long, well, hopefully at some point soon they'll do so again, but yeah. But let's see. And of course, these, and of course, for the price point that they were at the time, like, around uh, 12 13 dollars which 
quite good to, uh, despite inflation and all. But even though they may be quite a bit, bit more uh, nowadays, but at least they're still well worth it. But yeah. And so now, if any of you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, I'd say definitely pick them up. eBay, Bricklink, Macari, whatever. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.